to Crafting by the Falls. My name is Natalie, and this is my little princess, Tina. Um, she's sticking by mommy like glue today. I'm not feeling well, and uh, it's incredible how much our animals know we're not well, right? So she's just uh, falling asleep. She loves being out. So she's uh, sucking in the attention. And of course, our animals always make us feel so much better, right? So anyways, today um, we're here because of VIP Cross Stitch. Uh, they reached out to me and asked if I would do a review again for them. And I definitely said yes. I have to say VIP, they were the first uh, company to ever reach out to me and ask if I would do a review. And I have done a couple for them and uh, totally happy with it. So what I'm gonna do, I, um, hmm. I'm going to reverse the camera so you can um, look at my laptop. We're going to go check out their website, go over it quickly, and then we are going to start the review. I was able to get four kits, so I'm going to divide it up into two videos. I will do two kits today and then I will do another two kits uh, next week. So, um, yeah. So, I'll pause the camera here and uh, let's go see their website. So, this is the website for VIP Cross Stitch. And, um, they always have different sales going on. So I will leave the link in the description box that'll bring you right to VIP Cross Stitch. And um, you can go check them out for yourself. Just go over quickly. Um, they have their home, new arrivals, best selling, um, Cross Stitch Clash classifications, accessories and tools, Joy Sunday, spring, large size kits. They have the different brands. They also have the silk cross stitch brand. They also do customs. And then they do have uh, a section for crocheting and knitting tools. And then they also have the DIY uh, crafts. They do have some um, frequently asked questions and hot search words. So it's always great when they have stuff broken up. And uh, like I've mentioned before, Every one of us is different. We have different ways we go searching for things. And um, so it's just a great way of you doing your own little search on what they have. As you know, I, I'm a big Joy Sunday fan. So you can go under and check out what they have. And what I like about it is, for instance, say this kit, they'll have it marked here, 11 count or 14 count. It is stamped cross stitch. So I'm just gonna click in there just so you can see. And what's really neat about it is right over here, you can choose 11 count or you can choose 14 count. and. When you do that, you can see that it will be a difference in price because we're looking at different uh, sizes. So let's go back. And as if you've been following me, you um, 
know that I've made a couple mistakes of put stuff in my cart without checking to see if it is stamped, printed, or counted, <laughs> unprinted. Um, yeah, I've gotten two unprinted because I haven't done this correctly. Not with VIP. I've done it with uh, different companies. So, again, um, it comes in different ways of when I ordered this order, what I did was, um, as you can see, there's four different kits. We got spring, summer, autumn, and then winter. If you like this set, what's really neat about it is you can go over here. So each kit is selling approximately for 708. You can go over, click the four pieces and you save 20%. So instead of it being 2763, you're getting it for 2210. So that's one way of um, trying to get kits. We all are trying to save money these days because, you know, we're all on that struggle bus. So whatever way you can do to save, that's uh, that's one way of doing it. So a little, little bit about that. Um, yeah, so go check them out. Um, they got no shortage of cross stitch. Like I say, this right here is just um, Joy Sunday alone, but you can go under um, Mona Lisa and uh, Mona Lisa brand and they got everything there. Again, we all have our preferences of kits and uh, stuff to choose from. So, um, you know, I know a lot of people like DIY, so they have plenty there. And, uh, again, it just, you know, there's seven pages of, um, just DIY. They also, Silk Company, they just have oodles of kits. So go check them out. I'm going to pause here and uh, I'll bring out our first kit. And like I mentioned, I'll be doing two today and two next week. And I will be leaving the links in the description box. Okay, so here are our two kits. If you're familiar with the kits, you know, I like my Joy Sunday. So one of these days, I will step out of the box and I will try to get some other kits. But I have to say when um, you have a good quality kit, it's just very hard to uh, switch things up. But you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, if there is a kit that you would like me to review and it isn't Joy Sunday, leave it in the comment box and uh, leave me a comment, comment box. Oh. Anyways, just leave me a comment. Tell me what kit you um, would like me to review and um, yeah, I'll try to do it. Okay, so I will set this one aside. And we will start with this one. So standard Joy Sunday kit. There's always the instructions on the back of the bag. And it will tell you, um, you know, with the 11 count, you use three strands. Uh, 14 count, you use the two strands. They tell you about you know, the instructions on how to begin. And then they also have how to clean your canvas and um, prepare it for when it's finished. Okay. And then also down here, they also have the stitches on uh, how to do those. So this is going to be our first kit. 
I will um, bring it into focus a little bit more. So it is a Joy Sunday. It is a pre-printed fabric. And this one is called Hand in Hand. And it's RA447. This one is a 14 count and it measures 19 by 22 centimeters. So we'll take it out of the bag now. Set that aside. There is the cover page. So there is our chart. It is only two pages and it is 80 stitches wide by 96 stitches high and it only has seven colors. It's all in full stitch and there's no back stitch. I've been attracted to um, these kits. I just think it was... Um, I, I, I like the looks of them and yeah, so we'll stick this to the side. Oh, look at how small this one is. That is great. <laughs> Put it right way. So I'll zoom up a bit so we can have a better look at it. So as you can tell, all the edges are surged all around. There are our symbols for the, um, the, oh my goodness, I'm losing it today. Um, all the symbols for our canvas. Uh, one thing about Joy Sunday, if you've never done a Joy Sunday, these symbols will match the canvas, but the um, chart is different from the canvas. So number one, I'll uh, bring that up there. So number one here is a blue X and it would go in this area. But if you go to look on the chart, number one, is marked with a one. It can be confusing if you've never done it before. I know other kits, the symbol that's on the canvas will be the exact same on the chart, but uh, Joy Sunday does do it differently. So this being the top right of the canvas, here is, well, there we go. The top right, as I said, number one, um, symbol the blue X is number one on the chart so usually you don't have to refer back to the chart too often um, I just use the chart more or less for when you are doing a uh, back stitch so so seven simple colors and here we go They're all nice brown, tan colors. And uh, this one's white. It's 5,200. And the other great thing about the kits is they mark on here the Joy Sunday. It does match the kit code right up here. RA447, RA447 does remind you it is a 14 count and we have our two standard needles so it's gonna they're gonna be really nice to work up and I really want to I will be working them up because um, my daughter's friends are all starting to get married and have babies so I want to do up uh, some of these for um, announcements and my thought is what's great about these canvas is that I was thinking of you know you can always put their names up here um, you can do the date location 
whatever. It's uh, it's free for you to do whatever. So that's why I've uh, picked up these because, like I say, um, I'm going to be busy doing up uh, wedding and uh, birth announcements soon. So, okay, I'll pause and we will start the second so kit. So here's our second kit. Again, Joy Sunday. And this one is called Embrace. And it's R636. So we're going to take it out of the bag. Put that there. So there's our chart, our, our cover page. Isn't that beautiful? Just, oh, how time flies. I remember the day that, uh, yeah. I held my baby like that too, but uh, they've grown quite a bit since then. Uh, this is um, a pre-printed uh, fabric and it is a 14 count. And this one measures 28 by 31 centimeters. So here's our chart and it is only two pages. And again, very limited Chihuahua security. Um, we have eight full stitches and uh, it is 112 stitches wide by 133 high. So this is the canvas it's really nice I love that and um, this well like you see it only has eight full stitches and there's no back stitch and uh, the print quality on here is just fantastic I'll uh, bring that up so you can see it is uh, done up very nice. And it's not that large um, to do. like, And it is a partial because all these white areas will not be stitched. So, and it doesn't look confetti at all. It's uh, a lot of color blocking. So that's great. Here is our um our thread and it's again a lot of beige and tans and we got a bit of white so that's that's gonna be nice and then again our two standard uh needles here so i love these and um I look forward to doing them up. So let's um, put that here. Oh, that's not good. There we go. So there's the first one. And um, here's our second one. There we go. A little bit different, but they're they're nice um tan brown color so they'll be really nice when they're stitched up so if you enjoyed the review don't forget to give me a thumbs up and um i will in the description box uh leave you the links to bring you over to vip cross stitch and if you are looking for either one of these kits, I will also leave you the link to get you right to these kits. So thank you for coming and spending your time with me. I truly appreciate it. And um, take care and we'll see you again. Bye for now.